Come on, you won't mess this up. You got this, you got this. Typically when I shoot the intros or outros of my video, it looks something like this. Got my tripod over there with my camera on it, I'm sitting on a stool, dressed to the nines, and I'm just giving all the information I can. Talking about what I've done, what I plan to do, how the project turned out. All this works fine for me. I'm really happy with this setup, but my problem comes in when I'm trying to actually record the CNC itself making cuts. I'll have the tripod somewhere in this position. Uh, maybe I can do something like that, or I will lower these front two feet. That way I get of a little bit of a lean here with this tripod. Uh, this, this works okay. Um, but again, I can't get as close as I would like. What I have done is rest the tripod actually against the CNC, but then the vibrations from the router will travel up into that and you will see that on video. So I try not to do that. But even here, you can see I'm not as close as I wanna be. And I can't really do any sort of weird angles like that because that actually takes me even further away from my workpiece. So this is not working for me at all. So it's time to come up with a solution. This is what I've come up with here. On this left screen, you can see I've got all of these arms here. All these will lock together. They'll be in sections of either two or three. And then if you look down here at the bottom, I've got special recessed holes here so that these will fit the end of a T-bolt and that they will sit flush with the outside edge of this wood. And then that way that'll lock the end of that T-bolt into place. And then I can use a star knob or I actually designed a couple up here at the top. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using these or not. Uh, I would have to stick a T nut in the bottom of this thing in order to get these to work. I don't know if I have enough material yet. This should work pretty well. These are my base pieces here. These are gonna be my hinges down here at the bottom. These are what are gonna hold the stanchions here, the sections here that are either two or three arms together. And I'll explain all this to you after I get all this cut. This took me a little while, but I, I like the design of this. I think this will be a nice fully articulating arm. There will be a total of four sections. So that way I can get uh, in and out of the CNC. I can get any kind of angle I want. I shouldn't have any trouble doing so. Here are all my parts. I've got them kind of separated right now. Three, two, three, two. Need to make sure you look out for are the ones that have the recess there. You want those on the outside so that way you can stick your T-bolt through there. I'm just gonna bolt these up real quick, show you guys what that's all about. There it is all locked together, pretty simple. The 
T-nuts fit in there real nice into those recesses. That way you can just run these star knobs with one hand. You don't need any kind of backup. But as you can see, this thing will just sit there any position that you leave it in for probably as long as you leave it in there. So now I'm just going to take this base piece here. I'm going to attach it to my rolling stand and then I should be ready to go. That worked out really well. There is my stand for my rollers. You can see it is just a piece of scrap, not a big deal. Since this is the bottom, I can take these rollers, can set them right on there like that. And then that way they can swing out there. I will have access to the brake and I will be able to attach the arm to my base here and then I'll be able to roll it out of the way when I want. I'll be able to roll it left and right on the CNC itself so then that way I can get the perfect shot. So I'm going to attach these wheels and I'll show you what I got. I'll be able to move this wherever I want to and I can lock the feet and that'll keep it pretty steady. I don't really anticipate that being much of a problem but I think it was only like a buck more to get the two locking wheels so there's my stand. Couldn't be any happier with that. Nothing fancy here. I'm just going to sink a couple of screws into this base. Here's the absolute first attempt here at unfolding this. Lock everything down with these knobs. I was afraid of this being a little front heavy, so that's not a big deal. I think what I'm going to end up doing is moving this base to this side here. And then that way I can put some counterweight on the back side of this right here. And that'll hold it uh, something pretty light. I only need like probably five pounds to counteract this. But I'm going to do that real quick and I'll bring it back. So all I did was I slid this base forward toward the machine a little bit. And I just added this counterbalance back here. I'll end up changing that out. This is just a proof of concept. But as you can see, I've got all my arms fully adjusted. And then that way right there, I can shoot my video. Let's say I'm done cutting on this portion and the CNC needs to move over into here. That's not a problem. I can just slide this thing over and now I'm centered back up on that. My CNC is pretty much right in this range here. I'll just jog this thing back and forth. You can see I'm nowhere near my actual camera mount. Let me change angle on you here. Let me show you exactly what my camera's picking up. I can jog this back and forth like this. But now if I wanted an even tighter shot, that's no problem. I can lower this arm. I can slide this right up there. You can see I am real tight to that now. I'm right on the inside of that cut. I'm a lot closer than I've ever been able to get. And as long as my router doesn't clear the front of this workpiece it will not bump the edge of my stand there it's exactly what i want
This is that small box that I made. This I'm gonna end up sitting right back here. And then because of what I do for work, I have pretty much unlimited access to all thread rod. This stuff here is three quarters of an inch thick. So I figured four or five of these would probably be more than enough weight to counterbalance it, this arm. So you can just slide these right in here like this. Whenever you think you're good, slap your lid on. I'm not gluing this lid on just so I can adjust this weight in here if I have to. I'm also not gonna screw it down so I can just remove it whenever I feel the need to. This thing folds up real small, real nice. It's got a small footprint. You can adjust it any way you want, bring this out, and you can get any angle you want. That way you can get the perfect shot for whatever project you're doing. What's great about these is you don't have to have a CNC or a laser to cut these. That just makes it easier. You can cut any one of these stanchions here out of any kind of scrap you have in your shop. Baltic birch plywood, some oak would be real nice. Or I've got some poplar here. This is already dimension. This is already half an inch. So you could do something like this and just draw your dog bone there, connect them on each side, and then just drill a center through hole there. And that's where your bolt would stick through. And then you would basically just have something just like this. You can shorten this, lengthen this, this is incredibly versatile. You can exchange and swap out any of these pieces for anything else. And then if you make yourself a couple extra base pieces here, this one would be your actual base because this holds three of the arms here. And then this single would accept two of the arms. And then this is where you could have your light, your camera, um, whatever you would want. These swap out very fast. All you have to do is back one of these off, pull your bolt out, slide it into your base piece here. Tighten up your knob and there you have it. So now you could have something like this And this could be your desk light. This could, you could set an LED push button light on here, could adjust your angle, and then you would shine down on your surface, whatever, right down here, you could write. And these are just great for task lighting as well. I'm gonna use mine for again some better shots of the CNC and overall better shots of what I'm doing in here. So I can get some better detail and tell you guys a better story about what I'm doing out here. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you aren't already, please subscribe. That helps me a lot. And until next time, take it easy.